Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to episode 14 on my Iron Man series. I'm so excited for this episode because I have so many awesome things planned out. Finally, we're going to go grind our range level up like we should have a long time ago. We're going to continue that grind for that whip. We're going to go for a fire cave. We're going to do more barrows. And achievement diaries are coming out tomorrow, which is awesome. But before we do any of that, I did get an elite from barrels in the last uh, in the last episode. And we have to grind for 72 thieving. So let's jump right into the episode with some thieving. And there is 60 thieving, man. Doing these without auto hotkeys is terrible. Alright, and there is 65 thieving. Boy, is this becoming painful on my hands. <laughs> I was going to go all the way up to 72 thieving, but then I realized that I can come to the Sorcerer's Garden and go to the Summer section get three squirks I, I think that, that that's how they're pronounced and you can drink it and get a guaranteed three plus thieving boost so that's how I'll be th uh, boosting thieving I will get thieving up to 72 in the future so I don't have to do this but for now I'm just going to continue with uh, this that was not worth it okay okay in the last episode I was saying how I wanted to get my range up using the red chinchampas that I caught from Hunter. So we are here at pest control and I have a full day to do absolutely whatever I want. So I'm just going to sit here all day and do like 14 hours of pest control. Let's go. And we just hit 250 points for our very next void piece. Let's get the top. There we go. And bang. Two pieces complete, two to go. Oh my goodness, we finally have enough for the uh, the ranger helmet, and then we only have the gloves left, and I dig it up to about 250 points, or 249, so uh, we only need 100 more points, oh my goodness, this is, uh, this is painful, this is truly painful. Oh dang it, I missed the screen, but we did just hit 75 defense, which is really awesome, but now that we have uh, 75 attack and defense, we are going back to training uh, strength, so very cool. Oh my goodness, we are finally done. We got like 7 inches of snow where I live today and my work closed so I didn't have to go in so I've literally sat on my butt all day grinding this out to finally achieve full void. Oh yes. It's so beautiful. Now before I do go start my chinning, I, there is one more item that I do need to obtain, which is the Salve Amulet, Enchanted and Imbued. So I have to do both the Haunted Mine, and I also need to do Dream Mentor, Not that has nothing to do with the Salve Amulet, but to get it imbued, I need to use uh, Nightmare Zone points, and for Nightmare Zone points, the best method to get them is by killing Dream Mentor bosses inside of Nightmare Zone. So yeah, let's go do Dream Mentor now. And there's the completion of Dream Mentor. Very easy quest. It's usually a challenge, but this time it wasn't. Um, very cool. Alright, there's Haunted Mine complete. Now into Nightmare Zone. And now it's finally time to imbue our Salve Amulet. <sighs> yes, let's go do some chinning. I did miss the level, but we just did hit 78 range. Wow, this is actually super fast. This is awesome. Wow, just started the trip, and we did manage to just hit 80 range. Wow, that's really awesome. This is going really fast. And here's a quick little update. We did just hit 82 range, and the only chins that we have left are the ones that we have here. So about 1.7k plus about 1.5k still in the bank. So we still do have a good 600k XP that we can still gain from these. So uh, I'm guessing we'll hit maybe 85 by the end of it. I found my brother. I found him. Well guys, that's going to be it for our chinning. We just threw our last chin that we had, and I'll show you in the inventory real quick. No more chins. So, uh, let's go to the, let's go bank real quick. Here's the progress from throwing about 9k chins. Now, I did predict about 86 range, but I did forget that I didn't have range potions, which I did on my main when I did this, and I got a good a bit more XP per hour than uh, without range potions. But, we did hit 84 range, and we also hit 84 hit points and we're 1.9k away from 85 so that's pretty awesome but uh yeah that's gonna be it for ranging um that's gonna come in huge help later on because i'm gonna go to chaos uh chaos fanatic soon see if we can get anything cool there and uh wyverns is gonna be so much easier and hopefully we can do some zolra soon
Jagex recently added the Achievement Diary update to Old School, and there aren't any that I really want to do specifically, so I'm just going to start in Lumbridge and see how far I can get, and then once I can't do any more here, I'll go on to another, you know, section of the world and do that place. Um, and for all the experience lamps that I do get, I'm going to be putting them on Herblord, because that's the most efficient uh, skill to put any lamps on, uh, for those of you who don't know. While I was doing the Achievement Diaries, I did realize that in a lot of the medium diaries, you do need, or at least I need, 59 smithing for a Myth Grapple because that is a, a requirement for, I think, three or four uh, diaries themselves. And right now I only have 55, so this for this episode, I'm not going to do many more diaries. I only did um, Artie, Falador, Lumbridge, and Wilderness. And I'm going to hold off doing them until next episode just so I can get that Myth Grapple and then we'll really start session out um, some diaries. But for now, I'm just going to work on 60 smithing and then next episode we'll really work on achievement diaries. So since I got 84 range, I do want to go try Crazy Fanatic again to see if I can kill him efficiently because before the kills were just taking absolutely forever. So I am going to go see if I can kill him and see how it goes I suppose. So I went to Crazy Archeology, or no, sorry, Chaos Fanatic, and only got a few kills off. Um, I'm really not going to start camping until I get range potions, because that'll really speed up my kills. And the Achievement Diaries will actually bring me a lot closer to that. I'm only 62 Herbler right now, but um, I think you get about 300, no, maybe not 300k, but a lot of uh, Herbler XP from completing Achievement Diaries. So um, I'm going to camp them hardcore uh, when I have off time, but now... We are actually going to start Slayer for the episode. I don't really have a goal, I just want to get at least 75 for the episode, so yeah, yeah, let's go start slaying. Alright, and there's the completion of our very first task of the episode. Last episode I didn't end with cow fights, but for the Lumbridge Medium task I did have to get a task from Chowder, so I skipped the cow fights, got the Fever Spiders, and uh, yeah, long story short, now we're here. Let's get a new task. Please, can it be Dagonoss? That would be awesome. Yes! Alright, um, so... Since we just got Dagonoths, I am actually going to go imbue my Slayer Helm so I can um, mage, mage Rex more efficiently and uh, so I can now start ranging Prime since I have a higher range level. So, let's go to Nightmare Zone, get this Slayer Helm imbued, and then, uh, yeah, go kill some Dagonoths. And with the end of that Nightmare Zone trip, we do have enough points to finally imbue our Slayer Helm, so let's imbue it real quick. And sorry if there's a little bit of a hum in the background, there's a fan running. Um, somewhere you, where you guys can't see, but, uh, Slayer Helm imbued. Very awesome. Let's go kill some Dagonoths. Very cool. We're ending the, the end of our trip, and we just get our first Dragon Axe ever. Oh, that's awesome. All right, let's bank. I did about two trips of, uh, Dagonoth Kings, but I didn't really get many kills, because since the free-to-play update, there are so many more new members, and there are, like, no open worlds right now, so I was hopping around forever, so I couldn't get many kills. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go finish up our Dagonoths at the regular Dagonoths and continue Slayer from there. Okay, and there's the completion of our Dagonoth task. Unfortunately, no clues. Uh, yeah, let's go get a new one. 131 Hellhounds, I'll take it. I want to do some clues. Okay, this should be the reward, and let's open a Deep Ability, because why not? And Ancient Full Helm and Black or Blue Dehyde Trimmed. Eh, nothing special. Let's go. And there's another one. That's beautiful. Let's go. Well, that's average. And we're at the end of this trip. Not quite at the end of the task. we still got a few left. But uh, as you can see on the ground, we did get a double clue. So, uh, yeah, let's go see if we can do that. All right, there's, a, there's the reward from the first one. Pretty crap loot. Let's go finish up the second one. Okay, and this should be the reward for the second one. If I could actually dig. And Are you kidding me? This is like a seven-step clue. Wow. Alright, I missed the screen, but uh, we just got our last clue reward. It was the pirate hat, the two skirts, and the dagger. But, uh, yeah, it's a pretty fancy hat. Let's go finish up our Hellhound task. Alright, and there's the completion of our 96th task. We did get a crazy amount of clues. I think we got four this task. Uh, Alright, let's go get a new task. Hopefully it'll be something cool. And 176 blue dragons. Uh, okay. And there's our 97th task in a row. I really hate doing blue dragons are kind of a waste of time but uh let's get a new one while we're at it let's see what we can get for neve anything good and 143 trolls i'm not mad about that i'm gonna do the ice uh grunt trolls up at need to not or whatever the place is called and uh yeah they drop uh sick sick items and there's the completion of our trolls task i totally recommend doing them here because they just drop awesome things as you can see i got two rune shields and a 
placeholder granite shield. But uh, yeah, let's get a new task. 134 Dagonoth, not bad. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go kill some Dagonoth kings. Oh, here's an unexpected level, but uh, yeah, 65 farming, very cool. Uh, don't really think that gets me anything, but that's just a milestone. That's the end of our Dagonoth trip. We only killed Rex on that trip because I tried to do Supreme last time, but it wasn't it wasn't that great. But um, yeah, I only got about I got about nine kills, but got crashed two or three times for my kills. So, oh well, nothing great. And as you can see, we just finished our 99th task, which was Dagonoth, and we also have a medium clue. But first, let's go get a new task before we do the clue. 132 trolls for our 100th task. I'll take it. Thank you for the Ranger boots. Okay. And there is our 100th task in a row complete, and we did get another freaking granite shield drop. That's insane. Okay, let's go get a new task. 158 Hellhounds. That'll take us very close to 75 Slayer. Awesome. Over the past week, when I had a couple minutes where I wasn't really doing anything, I would go to the Hell Rats and see if I could get Orange Spices for a 5 plus boost in crafting, and we did finally get that 5 plus boost. I would only do like a couple a day, but we finally got it, uh, 80 crafting, which means I can now craft um, the glories uh, from the Dragon Stones that I have in my bank. So um, yeah, let's go do that real quick. And there is 28 more Dragon Stone amulets. That's actually all that I'm going to make. Very cool. Oh, very cool. We pick up our first clue scroll of the task. Let's go. Okay. And number two. And thank you for the Robin Hood. Or a Cavalier. That's also very cool. That's our 101st task in a row complete. Let's go get a new one. 89 Anku. Okay, I'll take that. I did finish that Anku task, but I didn't record the end of it. Oh well. Let's get a new task. Hopefully this one will get us to 75. And 126k4. No, that won't quite get us there, but uh, I'll take it. And we're about halfway through the task, and we do get our first clue scroll, which is awesome. Let's go do that. And we actually did a, get a black mass drop, which is even cooler, because now we can have a placeholder Slayer Helm. All right, let's go do the clue. Well, that's average. I wasn't expecting the level, but we did just hit 87 strength. And do we hit 100 combat with that? Oh, my. Yes, we do. We just hit 100 combat. That's awesome. There's a completion of our cave horror test. We're 1.4k away from 75 Slayer. All right, let's go get a new task. 148 blood belt. I'm actually not going to do the entire task. I'm just going to get to 75, but, um, and there is 75 Slayer. Wow, that's really awesome. Gargoyles have been unlocked, and, uh, only five more levels till we can get that whip. Now that we've hit all the goals that I've set out for this episode, we're actually going to go do something that I have never done before. We're going to go outside. Okay. Here we go. There it is. Okay, let's go. It's not so bad. All joking aside, we actually are going to be doing something that I have never done in the 11 years that I've played this game. I'm going to go attempt a fire cape. Um, if you go back and look at my old videos, you'll see that I have a fire cape. One of my good friends, he loves doing fire capes, so I just let him do it for me. Probably should have done it myself, but um, yeah, I'm going to give one attempt this episode, and if I don't get it, I'll keep trying until I get it. Uh, one attempt every episode, but uh, let's go see if I can actually do it. Well, uh, that went poorly. I only made it to about wave 42. I didn't bring enough food, and I made a lot of stupid mistakes. It was my first time ever in there, but um, I think I think I can get it soon. I don't think it's going to be a lot a lot of attempts before I can actually get it. I think I'll get it by next episode or the episode after that. It's that time of the video again where I do some barrows, get a decent item, and always get an elite. So uh, yeah, let's go get our first chest done. Chest number one. Thank you for the Varric Brassard. Uh, our coins. And number 102, kidding me? Bodie, I'm really sorry. All right, let's get our first back-to-back -back ever. Nope. Number 104, and just more runes and coins. And number five. Uh, I don't really have much use for it, but I guess I guess that's a cool piece to have. And time for chest number six. And if I actually had to place money, I'd say that we're going to go dry for the rest of the video, but uh, let's find out. Uh, dry for now. And number seven. Are you kidding me? No. 
I have no idea what chest this is. I think it's 108. Um, let's see if we get anything. And nothing. And number nine. More blood rinse. That's it. Wow. And time for number 110. Oh, we're actually going to go up to 120 this episode, not 116. And nothing great. And now for chest 111. Anything good? Eh. Without fail. Every time we get an elite. Let's see if we can do this one. And for 112, anything good? Nope, just your usual. And time for 113, I think? Ah, crap. Chest number 114 right here, and the usual. 115, and bull racks. 115, 116, I have no idea. I've lost count. Oh, nothing. 116. 117. Crap. 118, and Chaos Runes. Second to last chest of the video, and loop half of key. I think that's our second one. And last chest of the video, and huh, some coins. I started the elite that we got from Bears, and we got this from Sherlock Smith, a Myth 2 Age sword. So I figured right now this would be a good time to, uh, you know, just get 60 smithing. All right, and now, oh, cool! I can smith my dragon square shields when I get them. And now I'm actually just going to go catch the Hell Rats until I can get a 4 plus boost for it. So right after the Myth uh, 2H Sword, we did get uh, String AU Longbow. And as you can see, I only have 62 Fletching. And I'm not going to take the time to get 70 right now. I'll actually do that at the beginning of next episode like I did with this episode. So, um, yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode because, like usual, I had a freaking blast making it. And I'm really sorry that it took longer than usual. Um, as some of you guys might know, I actually have two jobs and I'm still in high school, so I have a lot going on in life right now. But in three months, I graduate, so videos are going to become flying at you guys when that happens. And also to address one thing, I've been asked a lot, both on YouTube and in game, uh, why I'm not streaming. And my computer cannot actually run a program needed right now. It's called DirectX 10. I'm going to get an upgrade um, I might just get a whole new computer uh, to begin with, and as soon as I do that, I will be streaming all the time, so yeah, I hope that addresses that question. But regardless, if you did enjoy the episode, please hit that subscribe and like button. It seriously means the world to me. Also, check out the description. I'm going to leave a straw poll in there for uh, future videos. Alright guys, have a great night.